Welcome to the Zaya for Applications Laboratory here in Cambridge. My name is Avash Anderson and I'm going to explain to you how the Zyaf handheld device works. On screen you can see the five features of the handheld client shown here and the handheld server shown in the bottom left. To explain each feature one by one we have the simple scan mode, the pick listing function, the sample lookup function, the add and edit sample data. Down at the bottom we have the keyboard wedge and in the bottom left is the handheld server which opens up the handheld scripts. I will now show you each individual feature of the handheld works. So to begin with, for the simple scan function, I open up the application and scan a series of tubes. And one final one. I can then take this scan list, save it on the handheld, give it a name, I'm going to create a file here called Simple Scan. Press the OK, and that file is now saved onto the handheld. We can now plug back into the computer to transfer that list of tubes onto the PC or laptop device. We can now take the handheld back to the computer, plug it in via micro USB cable, which is supplied with the handheld device, open up the handheld client, which is an application which is installed on the computer, which can be seen here. We can manage the handheld devices. Click on the part where it says manage new scan file. Proceed. Select an action. Download. And the file that we created before in the simple scan mode can be seen on screen which we entitled Simple Scan. You can now download this file from the handheld onto the computer, which will be saved as a text file. If I save the file to my desktop, I will now open that file, and the scan codes can be seen on screen in list format. For the pick listing function, we can display a list of tubes that needs to be collected. With these tubes, we can also display the sampling information of each individual tube and even where the tube is located. If I open up the pick listing application, you can see there is an Excel file already placed on the handheld, which I moved onto the device by connecting it with a micro USB cable and using the handheld client application. This is the Excel file that I have placed onto the handheld device. You can see that the barcode is in column A. That is important and the barcode must always be placed in, in the first column, column A. You can see there are some other columns I've created here. These are all completely customizable and completely editable. Whatever is shown in the column headers on screen here in the Excel file will be displayed on the handheld. Once again, that is completely customizable. To place the pick list file onto the handheld, we must go to the Manage Handheld Device file, select Manage Pick List file, proceed, and then upload the file from the computer to the handheld. We can then find the Excel file open it and click the upload to the handheld button. The file will now be placed onto the handheld device. For use of the handheld client again, you must be connected to the computer via the micro USB cable. The file that we placed onto the handheld from the handheld client can be seen here. You can store multiple files 
onto the handheld, which will be showed in a list. We can then click on the file that we wish to open, click continue, click no to give a fresh read date. The list of tubes that need to be collected will be displayed on the left hand side. We can click on individual tubes to display the sample information that was shown in the Excel file. The column headers that were in the Excel file can be seen dis displayed here on the left, as well as the sample information on the right. We can then go and collect the samples based on the information that is shown on screen. If I click on another tube, the sample information is also displayed on screen there. In the Excel file, the location of the tube was also mentioned. You can see the freezer number being three and the shelf being two. Once again, that's all completely customizable. In this case, we can now take the handheld down to the freezer, down to freezer three, and find the tube on shelf two. We can now scan a tube by clicking the light up function button first. The tube will scan and move from the left hand side to the right to show that it's been picked. If I do the same again for a second tube, it will also move that tube to show that it's been picked. If a tube is not contained in the list that needs to be collected, it will show you an error on screen informing you that tube was not contained in the pick list. For the sample lookup function, we can display sample information on screen that has been placed onto the handheld from the computer that was in an Excel file. You can see I've already placed an Excel file onto the handheld here. And we did that by plugging the handheld into the computer by the, via the micro USB cable. This is the Excel file that I've placed onto the handheld. I can now show you how this file was placed onto the handheld via the handheld client. With the handheld connected to the computer and the handheld client open, we go on the Manage Handheld Device Files, Manage Pick List File, Proceed. We then locate the file on the computer. Open the file and upload to handheld. The file will now be placed onto the handheld and we can disconnect the micro USB cable and take it down to the freezer for scanning. The Excel file that we placed onto the handheld can be seen on screen here. We can place multiple Excel files onto the handheld which will be displayed in a list. If I click continue on the file, we can now scan any barcode that was contained in the Excel file. So if I scan a barcode now, we can see all the sample information that was displayed within Excel, which is shown here. If I scan another sample, the sample information for that sample will be shown on screen. All this information is just the column headers that were shown in Excel and these are completely customizable. Now I'm going to explain what the add and edit data function does. We must first place a template that we create using the handheld client onto the handheld. To create a template for the handheld, we must use the create and edit template files application. Here I've created an example template which contains the fields project code, expiry date, volume and sample owner. The handheld client can create different parameters for the data. They are text, date, quantity and multiple choice. When adding these fields in, I type their name and selected the parameter type, which can be selected from the drop-down menu. The field can also be required, which means when the sample data is added to the handheld, that field must be included. To save the template, we must click 
to another part of the handheld and save the file with the name of the template that we want it to appear on the handheld. In this case, I will use the template name of example. I must then save the template file and then place the template file onto the handheld via the micro USB cable. I've now plugged the handheld into the computer. I can now select to manage template files, proceed, and then upload the template file that I've created onto the handheld. The file will now be placed onto the handheld. If we open the add and edit sample information icon, we can see the template that we have added. If multiple templates are on the handheld, they will be shown in the list, and then we can select the template that is required. The example template is highlighted, so that one will be used. We can then scan the sample and add details for the sample. The fields that we created on the template can be seen on screen. So if I add some sample information in now, I've added some dummy information, which can be seen here. If I click Submit, this will save the sample information onto the handhelds. To see that information, we must plug the handheld back into the computer via the micro USB cable and then take the handheld file that we just created and save it onto the computer. It will be saved as an Excel file. To locate the Excel file we just created on the handheld with the new sample information, we must go to the Manage Handheld Device Files, Manage Picklist Files, and select Download from the handheld. You can see an Excel file has been created with the same file name as the template that we created before using the template feature of the handheld client. If we download this file from the handheld and click Save, we can then open the file with the name Example. It should show one tube that we just added with the handheld and the information that we inputted via the add and edit sample information is now shown on screen. If multiple tubes were added, it will be shown in a list here. If we want to edit one of the samples contained in the file, we must scan that sample that we've already added sample information on. Scan, and then add detail for the sample, and that information can now be edited. For example, if I wanted to change the volume of an aliquot in a tube, I can scan the sample, add the detail for the sample, select the volume field, and change the volume here, and then click Save at the end. For the keyboard wedge function, it will transmit a barcode onto an open on-screen application. That could be a limb system, Excel, a Word document, a text file, and so on. If we take a tube, scan it, and click Send, it will put the barcode onto the open application. Note that the micro USB cable must be connected for this function to work and the handheld client must be open. As you can see, the barcode has been submitted to the open application on the screen. In this case, it was Excel. Whatever application is open on screen, the barcode will be put there. The handheld device can also scan linear barcodes, that is 1D barcodes, with an extra attachment called the Opticon. They are paired via Bluetooth 
and when the linear barcode is scanned with the Opticon, it will appear on the handheld device. The application in the bottom left is the handheld server. The handheld server is an optional extra which must be purchased separately. Once the handheld server is purchased, you can then buy an additional extras for the device. These optional extras, which are all purchased separately, are shown on screen here. The keyboard wedge function wirelessly transmits the barcode that is scanned on the handheld device or into an online open application the same as the keyboard wedge function that we previously showed, but this time it does not need a connection to a computer. You can carry the handheld anywhere on site and scan a barcode at the freezer and wirelessly transmit it to the open application on the computer. Link to Excel enables you to scan a tube that is contained in an open Excel file on the computer. Once the tube is scanned, it will show the sample information that is in the Excel file next to the tube that has been scanned. Link to samples will allow the handheld to wirelessly communicate with our sample software. When down at a freezer, you can scan a sample and display the sample information on the handheld device. You will also be able to edit the sample and this will update the sample software as well. Link to database allows the handheld to wirelessly communicate with your database. The handheld can be taken anywhere on site, a tube can be scanned, and the sample information will be displayed on the handheld screen. For more information about the handheld device, please visit www.zyf.com.